Hi there, I'm Selene Erasmus. I'm a registered dietitian. I'm author of Fast Food for Sustained Energy. I do corporate wellness consulting and presenting, and I'm a regular media columnist. Today, I'd like to chat about practical savvy snacks that you can keep in your handbag or in your laptop bag, because most of us are on the run. And when we don't have the right snacks close at hand, we tend to then end up in front of the vending machine wondering, oh my goodness, what am I going to eat? And chances are your blood sugar is low, and so the chocolate is going to scream, eat me, eat me. So instead of that happening, prevention is better than cure. Why not think about keeping some savvy snacks in your handbag if you're a lady, in your car like your cubby hole, or maybe in your laptop bag or gym bag. So five top snacks that I would keep. Ideally, fresh fruit would be great, but I don't know about you, I'm not going to be keeping some apple or banana or pawpaw in my handbag. What I might consider keeping though is some dried fruit, so something like apple rings or apricots or raisins or mango strips or perhaps a trail mix where you've got dried fruit mixed with a bit of seeds and nuts. These are awesome because they're non-perishable, so you can keep them in your handbag, they're compact and you don't have to worry about them perhaps not being that fresh. When you have dried fruit, remember to stick to a handful. It's about a 40 gram portion because it is quite concentrated. You use about 4 kilograms of fresh fruit, by the way, to make 1 kilogram of dried fruit. So you don't want to be eating a whole packet or 500 grams of apple rings because then that's like sitting down and eating, say, 15 apples. So we don't want to do that. So just a handful of dried fruit. Savvy snack number two would be nuts or seeds. Nuts are really high in fat, but it's a healthy fat. So as long as you don't overdo the portion, it's not going to impact on your waistline. And it's actually going to be quite good for your heart. So something like uh, pecan nuts or walnuts or cashews or almonds. Ideally, I always say choose the raw nuts, the ones that are unsalted and unroasted. Not because the salt is that bad for you, because unless you're salt sensitive or you have high blood pressure, you don't need to worry too much about salt. But what happens is those kind of nuts are moorish. Once you start, it's like you can't stop. So make it easier for yourself. Get the raw, unsalted, unroasted nuts. Also, rather put them into small packets like this, the correct portion, which is just like the dried fruit, a handful or 40 grams, as opposed to opening a whole big bag and then relying on willpower to stop because we know that that's not going to happen. And then you'll be sitting at your desk and before three o'clock that afternoon, you would have eaten a kilogram of cashews. Uh-uh, not a good idea. Savvy handbag snack number two would be something like biltong. Biltong is really popular in South Africa. It's a dried meat, so it's a high protein snack. What's great about biltong, especially if you choose lean biltong, so ideally ostrich or venison or game without visible fat, is that it really does tend to fill you up. You don't need a huge portion as long as you're actually mindful of the fact that you're eating it. So don't in front of your computer or while you're driving just throw back handfuls of biltong. Rather, if you can, disengage from what it is you're doing. Take a two-minute break. Take a few deep breaths. Ideally, have a glass of water. Have a handful of biltong. Are you seeing a trend here? A handful of dried fruit, a handful of nuts, a handful of biltong. So generally, if you're looking for a snack and you want to stick to the correct kilojoules or calories, you want to stick to about a handful so that you don't overdo it. Three savvy snacks to keep in your handbag. A fourth one would be a health bar. Now, I'm a little bit wary about this suggestion because there are a lot of bars on the market that are not as healthy as we think they are. So what I'd like you to do, whenever you pick a health bar, is ideally look for the nutritional table somewhere, it's usually in the tiniest of small print, read it, and make sure that whatever health bar you're choosing, stick to 500 kilojoules as a portion for a snack. So that is about 120 calories. If you stick to that kilojoule or calorie allowance, then even if it's a health bar that's really got a lot of sugar and it's masquerading as maybe chocolate, uh, ideally then you're not overdoing it. Generally, if you're buying 30 to 40 gram sized health bars, and ideally choose ones that are packed with dried fruit and nuts, as opposed to processed and potentially just covered in fake yogurt and chocolate and loaded with sugar, um, then you'll stick to the correct portion size. 
right, last but certainly not least, is to get your hands on pre-baked low GI goodies. So things like uh, these are rusks that I always use. You also get muffins and biscuits. There may be a local company that uh, actually makes low GI, low fat, high fiber snacks and treats. Or you could bake your own. When I have the energy and the inclination, I get into the kitchen and I bake about two dozen low GI muffins. What's nice about baking these kind of things yourself, whether you're making muffins or biscuits, is you can make smaller portions and then you can freeze them so that you can grab and go. And really, you'll spend maybe an hour or an hour and a half in the kitchen, but make enough muffins to last you a month or two because you're not going to be just snacking on the muffins, for instance. So there you go. Five savvy snack ideas for your handbag or your laptop bag or the cubby hole of your car or your desk drawer. Dried fruit, nuts, biltong, the correct health bars, and some low GI baked goodies. No excuse to let your energy levels dip so that you end up overeating on the wrong stuff. If you'd like more tips and hints like this, I'd love to be able to engage with you. Uh, post a comment below if there's something in particular that you'd like me to chat about. Otherwise, please visit my blog. That is CelineErasmus.com. Join the Wellculator community on Facebook because there I share daily inspiration and tips just like this. And it will be great to connect with you. I'd love to help you keep your energy levels up, your weight down, and your health in top form. Thanks.